Hello everybody. So already gate is over. Hopefully you have done good in gate. But now you have to get started with ESE because ESE 2025 is round the corner. Prelims, you already know that it is scheduled on 8th of June and then we have the mains exam on 10th of August. So you have very limited time left for prepared, pre preparation of ESC 2025. So in this video, I would be discussing important topics the, according to the syllabus and important strategies that will help you in securing good marks in your ESC 2025. One of the most important exam especially for civil engineers because for civil engineers this year you can expect more than 200 seats in ESE and IRMS have also joined in ESE so there also you can expect around 50 to 60 seats in civil engineering alone so it's a very important exam for every civil engineer so if you have not started the preparation it's high time you should start now so let's see this video which will help you in getting your preparation started of ESE 2025. So, you already know the pattern of the exam. A exam will be conducted in three stages. First stage is of prelim stage. In prelims, you will get two papers, one of GS and one of civil engineering. In GS is of 200 marks, civil engineering is of 300 marks. Once you qualify in prelims, you will get an opportunity to write mains. Mains is also divided into two subjects. Only civil engineering will be asked here, paper 1, paper 2, 300 marks, 300 marks. And once you qualify in prelims and mains, then you will get an opportunity to sit for an interview in front of the board. And the maximum marks that can be allotted in the interview is 200 marks. So, total marks you will see it is around 1300. So, the total marks for ESC is 1300 marks. Your rank will be decided based on the total marks only. So, if we talk about the selection ratio in various stages of ESC, very important. See, if X is the number of vacancies for any branch, if X is the number of vacancies, then around 12x students are selected in the prelim stage, means around 12x students would be selected to give mains. And after mains, around 2.5x students are selected for interview and after interview, only x number of students will get the vacancies. So, if you are clearing prelims, it does not mean that you will clear the exam. So, just remember, mains is also very critical. Out of 2lx, only 2.5x will qualify mains. So, if you are not writing mains properly, obviously, your chances of selection will become very, very less. Got my point? So, let us proceed further. These are the final cutoff out of 1300. So, 2017, when the seats were around 258, the final cutoff was 691. Then, 710, the cutoff increased because the seats got decreased. Okay. Then, 702, because the paper was a bit tougher this year, therefore, the cutoff was high. Then, the seats got decreased drastically. Therefore, the cutoff got increased and so in few years the paper was easier. Therefore, also the final cutoff got increased. This year also around 250 vacancies we are expecting. So, the cutoff will be around 691 only in this year what I am expecting. Anyways, let us we will see the paper of 2025 then we will predict the cutoff there. This is the cutoff for PLIMS. So, around 180 to 200 marks you have to secure to get yourself cleared out of prelims. So, just focus on securing maximum marks in prelims, then only you will get an opportunity to write in mains. Your ESC around, around 250 seats will be there this year as well. Around 250 seats will be there in civil engineering this year as well. Okay. So, just focus on it. Very important, many important branches are there. You will see IRMS, then you will see CPWD, then you will see C C CPWD roads. These are the major departments where people want to work. Then you will see MES this year, MES surveyor, CWC and so on. Many good departments are there in which you will get recruited as a group A officer after clearing your ESE 2025. So, 
first let us talk about gs gs is very important so these are the various subjects from which questions generally asked that is current affairs then we have design drawing and safety standard and co co quality and practice engine energy environment project management material science ict ethics engineering math and aptitude you can see on an average from current affair most number of questions are asked so current affairs should be prepared properly then next important subject will be energy environment then ICT you can see most number of questions were asked, ethics, engineering math is all time favorite and aptitude. These many subjects you can prepare easily and if you will you prepare these all topics then you can see around 100 marks you can easily score 10, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 60 and 3, 4, 3, 4, 7 around 100 marks you can easily secure okay then if you will see what were the weightage in every year in 2020 21 22 and 23 you can see current affairs in last year was carrying very high weightage then you had engineering aptitude then engineering maths very important project management for civil engineers is very important topic this you should prepare Material science also you can prepare, ethics is very easy to prepare and very important. ICT you are seeing 15 questions, 15 marks questions are asked. So, 15, 15, 30, 60, 70 and 76 marks you can easily secure from these many topics only. Okay, then rest you have to do it yourself, got my point. So, this is the these, this is the this is the number of question not the number of marks the 100 questions will carry 200 marks if you are able to attempt 50 questions it is more than enough for me if you are able to secure around 100 marks in gs then it is good see here if you cover all these topics around 1 2 3 4 5 around 75 questions you can attempt from here out of 75 questions, you have to get yourself correct in 50 questions at least or 60 questions. If you are able to get yourself correct in 60 questions, I can guarantee you will get around 110 marks and 110 marks is very good score in GS. This year we have a very good team who would be teaching GS and all these subjects will become a cakewalk for you. So, these subjects as a civil engineer you can easily cover and you should focus at least on these subjects if you want to secure good rank. Okay. In few years you can see design drawing we had 12 questions also. See, one more thing you have to note here as per U UPSC every subject will carry at least 5 percent weightage and maximum 15 percent. So, maximum weightage can be equal to 15 percent here. Okay. Okay, my dear friend, so max, maximum percentage can be 15 percent. No subject can carry more than 15 percent marks as per UPSC. Okay, it is not there can be some exceptions like in current affair last year more than 15 percent questions were asked, but rough range they have given us uh, key maximum weightage for any subject can be 15 percent and minimum 5 percent questions will be asked from each subject. So, got my point? Then these are the static topics. This you should you can prepare out of static topics. See, engineering math is very simple to prepare general aptitude you should prepare. Material science at least engineering uh, civil engineering or mechanical portion you can at least prepare. If you are facing problem in electrical and electronics portion, you can leave it. Then basics of project management for civil engineers, it is very simple, you can prepare it. And then ethics, you should at least prepare, very important. Okay. Then these are dynamic topics which keep on changing. Your basics of energy environment, you need to prepare, very important topic. And at least all these three topics are very important, you should prepare them. There you will get a lot of weightage got my point. So, these are the dynamic topics and the static topic syllabus will not vary, but dynamic topic syllabus gets varied. Okay. So, you have to 
follow the latest content for preparing these topics. Old content will not be helpful here. For dynamic topics, you have to go for the latest contents. Then civil engineering for prelims, if you will see, this is the weightage here. What are the main subjects that you need to prepare to clear prelims with good numbers? You can see geotech very heavy weightage. Then building material, very important topic. Got my point? Then fluid mechanics, very important again and environmental engineering. And strength of materials, you are seeing lot of questions are asked here. See, these topics you should not leave. These short topics are very, very important here. Then RCC you can prepare. Steel structure questions are not simple in ESE. Sometimes they are as, asking very, very tough questions. So, these all questions you won't be able to attempt so easily. So, these are the important topics that I have marked here, which you should at least prepare thoroughly if you want to clear the prelims. Next, surveying and geology also very important you can see around 13 marks and transportation also. These you can prepare easily and these are the most scoring topics in ESE. And once you are through with these topic, I can easily say that in prelims out of 300 marks, you would be easily securing above 150 marks. So, if out of 500 marks, you are able to secure out of 500 marks, if you are able to secure 250 marks, then it is very good score in prelims and securing 250 marks in prelims is not a very tough task. Just you have to plan your preparation accordingly. I have shown you the weightages. So, at least thoroughly prepare these subjects, then prepare the remaining also. Remaining topics are also important because in ESC they dynamically change the weightage in each year. One year you will see that hydrology, no questions, uh, only four questions are asked. Next year it might happen that in hydrology they are asking 10, 15 questions. So, do not leave any topic here, but prepare these topics very thoroughly. Got my point because the weightage of the majority of the questions will come from these topics only I can say. Out of 150, 100 questions you can find out find from these topics alone and out, out of 100 if you are able to make correct 80, 70 questions sorry 80, 90 questions my deal is done. So, in prelims you will in paper 2 you will get easily 150 marks and in GS I have already told you the strategy of securing 100 marks. So, if out of 500 marks you are able to secure 250 marks is a very good score in prelims then we will fight a lot in the mains to get good score ok. This I wanted to say you. Then is civil engineering paper only theoretical this on the basis of data I can show you. That in the year 2023, 2024 data I have not included, you can see around 109 questions out of 150 was theoretical. So, you can say that the question will be more theoretical in nature, less numerical questions are asked. Nowadays, the recent trend is that, that around 40-50 question will be numerical based and sometimes the numerical calculation can be very complex. So, you should leave those questions and or attempt it at the end or you should know how to play with numbers, how to approximate your answers that is very important here. Uh, option elimination you should know to increase your speed here and you, you can see that in ESC lot of theoretical questions will be asked and these theoretical questions you can attempt only if you have a thorough uh, command on the concepts of topics then only these the theoretical question you would be attempting very easily. So, yes most of the paper would be theoretical, the theoretical questions will be more in ESE and numericals will be less. So, some important points if I want to sum up here, focus both on theory as well as numericals, cover all topics as well as subtopics, do not leave any topic because you cannot say exactly predict in from which topic how much questions will come. It might happen that you have left steel totally and in this year, 2025 20, questions are asked from steel alone. This has happened in recent years. So, do not totally leave any topic. At least have a bird eye view of all the topics. Keep an eye on new addition in on codal provision and syllabus. If there is any latest codal updates, you should be quite aware of it. Okay. 
try to maximize your score in prelims do not target only clearing cutoff clearing cutoff will not help because in prelims you are seeing 2x people are set selected so you should be safely clearing the cutoff so that in the other stages you will have more probability of getting selected got my point so this was all about the strategies how to clear ese 2025 with good numbers if you follow this strategy i can guarantee that you will get a good seat out of our ESC 2025. So, all the best, stay connected. This is my telegram channel by the name Badal Sir PW. You can join me here and if you have any doubts, we can discuss it out there as well. So, this is my telegram channel. You can just search Badal Sir PW and if you want the QR code of that, I have the QR code as well. So, this is the QR code for my te el telegram channel you can just scan it as well and join my channel there i am almost active so if you have any query regarding gate or ese feel free to connect with me there all the best everybody bye bye take care